everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the Tommy Wave Budget Deck Series here for Boomsday. We are back. It's been a hot minute uh, since we've uh, done a Budget Deck Series, and I was hoping to do this a little bit earlier in the uh, in the set, but we've been a bit sick, which is unfortunate, but we are back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, every single set that comes out, we do a budget deck with every single class. So be sure to uh, check the rest of the channel if you want to see any of the other decks from this season or from last season. Uh, today, as you would have seen, we are covering Mage. Mage has been one of the uh, more entertaining and more fun decks and more successful decks that we've done budget decks for. Uh, before we jump into anything, let's take a look at the criteria for the budget deck series. As you know, if you've seen this before, uh, we don't set any arbitrary dust limits for our decks. Um, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the core of a deck. Uh, we usually look at uh, successful archetypes to determine kind of what core we want to go for. And it usually consists of about 46 rares. We're not going to put any epics or any legendaries in there because we want it to be budget, of course. Uh, the main thing that we are going to focus on is having a reasonable upgrade path. So this means you can create a budget version of a deck. And then if you do want to invest some more dust, invest some more gold into the deck and get to one of those higher tier decks, um, you're going to have uh, a good time doing so. It's not going to be hard for you. Uh, lastly there, we're going to prioritize cards that aren't rotating. This not so relevant right now, but certainly once we get into uh, the next expansion, it's going to be hugely relevant. We want our dust to last as long as we can. Uh, so that's something that we are going to be paying attention to. Uh, before I do jump into some of the decks, I want to remind you today we're going to be using HS Replays Premium, it's a service that I've had for a little bit, and it truly is the best data around. Uh, if you do, uh, if you are interested in HS Replays Premium, and you do want to help the channel out, you can use the referral link that I have put right there, and that will help support the channel, um, and help support me, which uh, will be very, very helpful. So let's jump over to our HS Replays over here. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some, some Mage decks. Uh, right here we've got Tempo Mage. This is kind of the week one Tempo Mage list that was figured out. Uh, characters like APX Void uh, being very, uh, very prominent with this. Uh, Tempo Mage focusing on having a nice early start with Mana Worm uh, and a lot of supporting uh, aggressive spells like arcane missiles and shooting star. Uh, it, we've got a secret package in here with the arcanologist and counter spell and two explosive runes, cutting down to just the one counter spell these days. I think that's uh, uh, a smart decision. There's a lot less decks using big spells uh, these days, and you do have a bit of a rough time if your opponent does have the coin. Uh, and to combine with those, we do have the Curentor Mage, which is just fantastic tempo play. Good stats on a 3 mana 4 3. And let's just put one of those secrets uh, into play for free, which hopefully we've picked up off the Archonologist. Ideally, we want to curve, you know, Mana Worm, Archonologist, uh, Curentor Mage, and Explosive Runes. Uh, and that's one of our, our stronger starts. Uh, we've also got a newcomer Celestial Emissary in here. Uh, this was the week one list, and the Celestial Emissary just slowly changed to become Blood Mage Thalnos, which uh, then people started experimenting with cards like Mana Addict. Um, and that's a lot of the changes that have happened to the deck. Um, everything else has, has stayed relatively the same. The other new card that we've got to support is Stargazer Luna. This essentially gives us a second Alaneth, a second slightly worse, but sometimes slightly better Alaneth. Um, allows us to really dig and find a lot of the reach in our deck. And that's the one of the most important parts. We want to get in for, you know, 10, maybe more minion damage, and then rely on our fireballs, our frost bolts, uh, combined with cosmic anomalies uh, to get our opponent down to zero. Uh, cosmic anomaly being... Uh, a fantastic card and combines very, very well with Shooting Star, allowing us to deal three damage to three minions, which is a huge play uh, in that mid game. Uh, the other deck that we've got here uh, is Big Spell Mage. Just wanted to take a quick look at this to give you an idea of uh, the other mage decks that are doing quite well here. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see with so many blues and purples along this side, uh, this is a pretty expensive deck. We're not going to be able to make a budget list for it, uh, but Big Spell Mage was uh, very big uh, early on in the set, but it's kind of tapered off a little bit. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that uh, to see uh, what happens, what changes. So let's jump back over here. So what I'll do is I'll show you the core of the deck, um, the, ca the cards that I think 
uh, are, are necessary. And, and if you're going to try and make your own list, I would start from this point. Uh, we've got some of the aforementioned cards there, the early start. We've got the secret package in here with the Arcanologist, the Counterspell, and the Explosive Runes. Um, and as you saw, you know, with those similar decks, this uh, this archetype is fairly well thought out. So this is actually 25 cards. This is one of the biggest cores that we've ever had. Usually the core of a deck is only about 12 to 14 cards, but this is such a, uh, a well thought out, a well nutted out uh, deck that most of it is just you got to play it. Uh, so we've got that early start. We've got the secret package in there. Um, and I have chosen to include uh, actually seven rares in this deck. Usually I don't, but I think Cinderstorm is just such a, a valuable and cool card. It's also going to be around for quite a while. Uh, so I think crafting Cinderstorm is a pretty good play. Pretty good uh, line here. Uh, other than that, it's all pretty straightforward stuff. We've got the Cosmic Anomalies at the end there. Um, we're going to try and make sure that we can uh, get in a bunch of minion damage and also that we have plenty of reach. Uh, that's why I've chosen to include here in the full version uh, a Reckless Rocketeer. Uh, if we can't include any more card draw in the deck, because a lot of the card draw is, uh, or a lot of the good card draw is at higher rarities, uh, we may as well include some more high impact cards. And I think Reckless Rocketeer, just the one of them, is reasonably high impact, gives us essentially another fireball, a little bit of extra reach. Uh, we've also chosen to include another two drop in here uh, in Armani Berserker. Uh, I think I would have gone for Mana Addict had it been uh, common, but Armani Berserker is a fantastic card, especially in Mage, where we do have the option to ping our own Berserker and start hitting in for five. Uh, the stats match up quite well, particularly against decks like Odd Paladin and things like that. Uh, and I think the Armani Berserker is a nice inclusion to most decks if you need an extra two drop to fill your curve. Um, and you want it to be a minion, Armani's a, a fantastic card. I've also got two Spellbreakers in here, uh, just as a bit of a flex card. I think Spellbreaker's going to really help us get through cards like Tar, Creeper, other Taunts, um, Witchwood Grizzlies, these kinds of things. Make sure that we're getting in as much minion damage as possible, because once again, we are going to have to rely on those Fireballs, those Frost Bolts, to finish our opponent off. We don't have any Primordial Glyphs in here to discover extra Fireballs and things like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, Tempo Mage. This is the budget Tempo Mage list that we're going to be playing today. Uh, so we'll jump into some games and we'll see how we go. Okay, up here against the Paladin. This was sent in by Morgan Davy. Keep it wavy, Morgan Davy. Thank you. <laughs> I won't read that. Now riding the wave. Thanks, Mister Mister Fat. There. Thank you for uh, the follow. I do appreciate it. I think we're going to send all of this back. I think our I think we should favor our Mana Worm draws over our uh, our Curantor secret draws. Although this is significantly worse. Well, not significantly worse. Now it just kind of feels the same. Yeah, Mr. Pikachu, Mr. Fat. Mr. Stromlisses. How are we doing out there? What you up to? What you doing? What you playing lately? Okay, some kind of death rattle paladin. Interesting. This was sent in by Morgan Davy. Keep it wavy, Morgan Davy. Thank you. This guy picked you following up with the follow. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I mean, we can kill the devils, all right. No deck that's running Devil's Aura can be doing anything, anything good with it. Oh my gosh. Alright, well we'll let them do whatever they want to do <laughs> with their Devil's Aura. Which will maybe involve putting a Blessing of Kings on it. And, uh... Let the... Pain, speak no. to me. Interesting. Now that we've picked up this spellbreaker, hmm. I your magic 
shall not save you. Who you want me to Uh, he's coming to work to play Pokemon Trading Card Game. Been playing Hearthstone lately, lately. Tempo Mage mainly. Well, you've definitely come in at the right time. Uh, Tempo without Alan I feel your struggle. Well, um, you've definitely played the, uh, the, I guess, proper version of the deck in the past. But lately, uh, right now we're just focusing on uh, budget decks. We do a budget deck series every single time a new set comes out. And, uh, just came off being very, very sick. So we're just happy to, uh, happy getting some games in. And we're pretty favored right now. Right, unless our opponent has Zilliax, could be pretty, pretty painful for us. Feeling better? Yeah, we're feeling better now. Still a bit of a little bit of a cough, but it feels great to be back streaming, feeling the love from people. It's very good. What would Uther do? What to do? What to do? <laughs> uh, unlucky. Oh well. Die, mate. Oh, you want me If we had had one of the uh, the these shots land here, and one of them land on his face, then we would have had lethal. Could we have done something different? Could we have shooting started? No, then we only have nine on board. Ah, but we could have hero power. There we go. So we kind of goofed that one up. We should have uh, shooting started, hero power five. Hero power face. So we still got that. Still got Versus Gul'dan. Okay, here against the warlock. Shall be mine. You asked for it. Once again, I think we want to focus on our uh, mana worm trolls. Got to run for a bit, catch you on the back end, no worries. Ruby, I'll see you very soon. Travel safe, stay wavy, of course. See a couple of stay wavies in the chat. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Okay, so... No, uh, no one drop. So it could be Zulok with a bad draw. It could be Control Lock. So, do we want to get three more damage in, or do we want to Arcane Intellect? Hmm. What it's actually a reasonable, do? uh, to do? reasonable dilemma. I think we'll go for the arcane intellect. Who you want me to? Let's kind of diversify our options a little bit. I hate this matchup, the the Tempo Mage versus Control Warlock matchup. Out of my okay, Intellect as you have no Alaneth. Maybe. I mean, I think it was more that Um The the kind of game plan of our hand, like just one mana and one cosmic anomaly, wasn't really I don't know, there's not a lot there. Just gets a, a couple more options for us. So many but I totally wouldn't fault anyone for just taking the extra three minion damage. Oh, 
almost out of time. Hmm. So much rope today. Interesting draw. So we could try and set up a Cosmic Anomaly. But I think we might want to hold this for a turn where we're going to play a lot of spells. So maybe we just go for the uh, Archaeologist Arcane. Uh, go for the Apprentice and the Archaeologist. If they want a Hellfire, they can go right ahead. What's the best rank you've ever gotten? Uh, we hit Legend not last month, but the month before that. Last month we... Tried to go for a bit of a run, but uh, playing some odd mage, played a couple of different decks, and just wasn't wasn't really feeling it with any of the decks, and instead decided to focus on uh, getting some videos out. Unfortunately, when I play, most of my Hearthstone playing is on Why do on stream. You so if I do want to go for a legend run, it means not doing any. Uh, Streaming. Alright, so we can go for the anomaly with a shooting star. Which will kill this. When we kill this, puts only puts three here. Alternatively, we mm. can go for the spell breaker. Your magic shall not save you. I'm just shooting star here because I want to clear everything. Fortunately, if they do have the hellfire, it's pretty bad for us. Oh, the defiler. It's a pretty, pretty rough time. Maybe we should have just let the doomsayer go off. We have many secrets. Good reason to not play two counter spells. Science over. That was a mistake. Got a head off injury stream. Good luck in rank five. No worries. Thanks for checking me out. Definitely chuck your follow and uh, see if I can <laughs> tune in sometime. Science overwhelming. the creek unfortunately Out of my jungle. rotting to my core
think if they have the Gul'dan here, we should just straight up concede. I think we're ever beating, ever beating that card. This will be a mercy. Sweet. I guess we could have just fired off the the fireball. One rocketeer. Well, if we can hit the other fireball, and they heal, they hit no healing whatsoever, we might actually be able to race them. Is that three, three, five, seven, fifteen, twelve, no, no, one off. Five, nine, twelve, fourteen. So it's hell, hellfire lethal. Even if we, they already had that spell stone fully charged in their hand. So even if we uh, didn't play a minion there, I think they still could have targeted one of their own. Oh well. Jaina versus Malfurion. Okay, up against the Druid. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. Hmm. Interesting. So do we keep Kieran to our explosive runes? Hmm. I think we'll try it. We'll try it. Just keeping this. See if we can hit a one or a two drop. Hmm. Well, that's at least a, a half decent draw. I know when I was building this, I was considering instead of My one of the Armani Berserkers, Hello? Uh, like playing a one-off Firefly. Just to give us another another one drop, but I think the fireflies like like if you're keeping firefly, you're not mulliganing for um, for mana worm. We have many secrets. This is kind of an okay start, especially if we can get the Armani Berserker out. As that uh, complicates our opponent's swipes. No. Oh. Beat us to the punch. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. I don't know how useful this explosive runes is going to be. Hmm. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh, you want me killed? <laughs> So we did have an interesting line there where we could have just Arcane Intellected and then uh, Ping Nero and Armani Berserker for the extra 3 damage. And given that they're one turn off of uh, Spreading Plague, is something worth considering that 
you know, we don't want to put too many minions on the board. Five damage explosive runes. All right, let's draw first. I think we're happy to commit a mana to the board. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Okay, you got some serious beef with Giggling Inventor, don't you? Not a fan. Here's the plague. And a tyrant. Trying to get as much minion damage in as possible. Giggling Inventor and I are not on speaking terms. Are you on, uh, not even on greeting terms? No hello, hello, hello? Hmm. That mossy horror life, though. Oh my gosh. That, uh, that secret hunter we played with the... Oh, that's pretty bad. That secret hunter with the, uh... The Stitch Tracker package and uh, and Mossy Horror in it. Just discover infinite Mossy Horrors. Cinder Storm! Spectacular. Spectacular indeed, opponent. Thank you, John Moss. Is that the guy from the panel show? Alright, well, let's take a look at the deck. Um, ultimately, I was uh, I was pretty happy with this. Uh, the only thing that might might be a bit too much might be the second Spellbreaker. Maybe we can fit, like, some an extra one-drop down here or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's Tempo Mage in a nutshell. Uh, if you're looking for upgrade paths and things like that, uh, obviously we looked at um, that kind of day one Tempo Mage list. Um, so if you do want to invest some dust into here, uh, cards like Alaneth is a definite inclusion, uh, Stargazer Luna, uh, Luna, Stargazer Luna, another fantastic legendary that you can include in this deck. Uh, there's also Primordial Glyph, a mainstay of the Mage Archetype. It's fantastic and then you've got kind of one extra flexible slot here which some people play uh, mana addict over here uh, other people play blood mage thalmos obviously that's a bit more expensive so you can play celestial emissary if you prefer uh, but yeah I think this is uh, you know obviously the budget decks not too many cards off of the the full proper version which is makes for a, a very good choice if you're gonna do some laddering or you just want to you know learn a deck proper uh i definitely recommend tempo mage as one to go for anyway 
I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are watching on YouTube, all the links are down in the description, including a link over to the Hearthbone deck. Please, please, please jump over there. Give it a plus one. Leave a nice thoughtful comment for me uh, on how you think you'd improve the deck or, you know, what you liked, what you didn't like whatever let's get some discussion going on over on hearthbone um as i mentioned before hs replays if you do want to get the best stats in the game uh and you want to support me you can use that referral link that'll also be down in the description alongside uh all my social links as well you can pop over to twitter that's the best place to catch me or you can join the brand new wave pool discord uh just brand new still building it up but come over hang out enjoy get some uh come chat or look at all the gifts that I post. Anyway, until next time, please stay safe and stay wavy. Bye.